So another edition of Coding with Chopla. Today I'm going to take a look at uh, Kali Linux and uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that there might be some question as to the different ways that you can uh, write code in Kali Linux or how you can write it, run, as a, run a Python script. And so I thought it'd be a good idea to do a simple script and uh, show an example of how we could do that. So I'm going to be working Kali Linux today and uh, we're going to have some fun. So it's. I'm working in Kali Linux 2020.1. 20, and now we have our, our little prompt up and we're getting ready to, to do some code. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the uh, IDLE. And uh, when I, I like working in the IDLE because I like writing my script and then being able to save it, uh, categorize it, uh, and then uh, and then run run them later if I choose to. Uh, but you also need to be able to run the, your script uh, command line. So we'll be doing an example of both. Now I am making the assumption that you have already installed the IDLE three for Python, and so um, if you haven't done that, you need to watch the uh, previous video I did in Kelly for Kelly Linux that shows how to uh, how to do all the different uh, installs and uh, to install uh, IDLE3. Okay, so assuming that the that IDLE3 has been installed, then we're just, to run it, all you need to, to do is type in ID, IDLE. So let me go back into the screen and do that. And it automatically opens up the Python shell. Now, from here, yes, you can run your code in here, but uh, what I really want to do is I want to create a new file. And now we have our file. I'm going to go ahead and save it right now, though. So we're going to save this, and uh, we're going to save this on our desktop. I'm going to name it... Uh, I'm just going to name it uh, temp, I guess. I like naming things temp when, I, when I'm not going to save it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to save it here. And it's going to be on our desktop. And uh, now we can actually write our code in here uh, and uh, and do some 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 things. So uh, I'm going to write some code, and then I'll explain. Okay. So I wrote this little snippet, and uh, the first thing you notice is we have to import numpy. So we import numpy as np, and now I'm going to say a is equal to np array, and I'm going to give it some some information. So we're going to enter one, two, three, and four. And next, I want to print it out. We're going to print this. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. We, we can actually run the IDLE directly by just hitting F5 and then see what happens. But what I really want to do is, is show you how to, to save this and then run it from Kelly Linux from the actual console. So let's save it and then let's close out of it. And now we're back here. And the first thing we need to do is change directory to the desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're in the desktop, and now it's just a matter of typing in uh, what what we named it, which was temp.py. Okay, so I had to save it properly and uh, went ahead and fixed that. So now we have it on our desktop, saved as temp.py, and, and now all we need to do is say Python 3, because that's what we'll be using. And we need to actually give it the name of the of the file that we want to we want to run. And so what it did was, it went to the desktop and then it it uh, used Python three to open up the file that we just created, and it output and it ran it. It ran the script and this is what it output was the uh, one two three. So if we go back, we take a look at our desktop. That file's right here. We can open with the IDLE, and we can see our script. The important MP. We have an array and we print A. So we can run it from the IDLE to test it here. Or um, another step, like I said, that you, you must be able to build you must be able to do is to actually do it from this manner and say um, you need to be able to run it from command line and say run this. And that's that. Okay, so that's how you write a script and then run it through the command console. Very, very handy because your scripts will become more involved and more complex, and you're going to want to be able to save them and then run them 
by simply typing in a command. Uh, especially when we get into looking at different types of uh, uh, programs that are going to do some cracking or, or hacking, you're going you're gonna to want to write those scripts out and then just access them. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is say, okay, um, how would we run this if we wanted to run this code uh, directly from the console? So I'm going to go ahead and close this and just, just to, to start off fresh here. And what I want to do is say, okay, um, the first thing we need to do is say, let's work in Python. And I'll just go ahead and say Python 3. And so now we're in Python and we can, we can actually write, start working. And so doing it through the command line, we're going to say import. So now we're writing code directly into the console versus using a, a script. And but we're going to write the exact same code. So import numpy as np. Next, we're going to say, okay, we're going to have a is equal to n, np, sorry, np dot array. And now we need to give it, now we need to give it the, um, let me just do this real quick. Sorry, I keep messing up. Just having a rough day today. Go backwards. Okay. So let me put some numbers in. All right. Okay. So now we we're going to say a is equal to np dot array, and we give it the actual array with the uh, with the information with the data with the elements. They call those elements inside. And now we can say okay. Now we're going to assign that to memory. And the next thing we want to do is, okay, so all this is a memory. The import numpy as np has been executed. Um, Python knows that's what we're doing. Uh, it knows we've created the array and that we've actually uh, populated it with the uh, 1, 2, and 3, 4. So now we want to say print a and show us what we have in there. And 1, 2, 3, 4 comes out. So this is exactly the same thing as what our script did, except for here we're writing it uh, in the command line inside of Python directly in Kelly. Okay, so it's really, really simple. Um, you do need to know how to do it this way, um, but like I said, as our code gets more complex, you're going to want to write a script and uh, and then just access that script by name inside of the uh, inside of the console, because the scripts you can save, you can edit them very very quickly and easily, especially as these get longer, which they will. So uh, I hope that was that was interesting and uh, that you learned something from that. All right, well, have a good day.